Hello, everybody. Um, wow. What a night. Um, really hard fought football game. And uh, I'm just proud of the team. I feel so great for them, the way they battled back. I think, uh, you know, I think we played good football in spurts, you know, not consistently. I love the way we finished the game, the drive, the third down stop in the red zone. Um, you know, and then recovering the onside kick, very well executed. Um, and then, you know, we had to get a couple first downs because they had timeouts. And uh, so I was just really, really proud of how we finished the game. I thought New Mexico State played really well. I want to give them credit. I thought their quarterback was crafty and tough. He delivered the ball well. Um, I thought that they did a good job schematically against us um, on both sides of the ball. All kinds of pressure on offense. We had to block all kinds of movement. And uh, it was a challenging game. And you know, going into this thing, uh, knowing that we were going to play Nick Nash, that changes way, the way we play football a little bit. And how about him, right? 15 of 18, three touchdowns, just really efficient, really effective. Tyler Nevins, um, our offensive line, you know, I don't know how many times we've run for 200 yards since I've been coaching here, but not very often. And so I'm really excited about that. Um, I thought Coach Oglesby and, and Coach McGiven did a nice job putting that scheme together. And Tyler just ran hard. And... Uh, and, and then Kyrie had the big run late in the game that, that got us down there, which was really exciting. So um, a, lot of, a lot of good stuff, also a lot of stuff to fix. Um, you know, I think we were better penalty-wise this, this week than we were the previous two, but still not good enough. Um, there's some stuff that we have to address there that we have to clean up. And, um, and I'm, I'm just excited for our team. Uh, you know, we're three and two, and that feels great. And... Um, you know, anytime you play a game, someone's going to win and someone's going to lose, and I'd much rather be on this side of the ledger. So, what do you got? All right, thank you, Coach. Any questions? Coach, you beat this for the Martini News. Nice to see you. How are you? Good, good. Um, well, uh, uh, you got your first interception of the season. Yes, goodness and, gracious. Uh, that proved uh, quite crucial for momentum at halftime. Absolutely. Can you talk about the way? Uh, Something just jumped that, yep. that pass up to it was awesome. We've been talking about that a lot with Nehemiah. Um, you know, it's been a while since he got his hand on the football. I think it was like New Mexico a year ago um, was the last time he had a pick. And he's a guy in practice that does get his hands on on a lot of footballs. We've had we've had a lot of tips, a lot of you know we forced fumbles that we haven't recovered. Like like some of those things have been so frustrating. Um, and to complete that, you know, for him to jump that thing and pick it off and, and get it down there into the red zone and for the offense to then take care of it was just awesome. Um, you know, that's how we have to play. We have to do continue to put an emphasis and focus on creating turnovers and, and then uh, capitalizing on them. Thank you. Victor Kino, Good to see you in person, Coach. Um, you too, Vic. Pretty balanced attack. Is, is that kind of ideally what you want each game is to tie the ground? Yeah, you know, I think um, it depends on you know, who we're playing. You know, sometimes that, that changes in terms of what they are giving you and, and what you think you have the best chance how to move the ball. Um, you know, if we can be balanced, I think that's a good thing because it, it forces people to play you a little bit more honest and they can't really overload some stuff. Um, I, thought, I thought our O-line did a good job of blocking some of the, uh, some of the pressures and the, and the movement and that they were bringing. And because what it, what it ends up being, it ends up being a pretty heavy box that you're running into. And uh, just Tyler's physicality and Kyrie's physicality. Kyrie had a big first down run in the first half. It was just really physical. Um, so it was great to see them kind of take that on. Um, and then I thought, uh, you know, Nick with his, you know, he delivered the ball extremely well, but also his ability to get out and, and move and threaten people. Um, with his athletic ability also, you know, gives us a little bit of a chance uh, to, to, to keep it balanced. I think our defense has been playing really well all year. And I think their quarterback tonight was crafty as heck. And he did enough to get himself um, out of trouble. You know, there are lots of times where we were that right there, we just didn't finish it or didn't get him down. He was strong, um, you know, experienced player. I thought he was really, really good. Um, 
you know, even the, the incredible touchdown play in the first half where he kind of scrambled and Fehoko and Cade were closing in on him and just floated that ball into the back of the end zone. I was like, oh my God. When I saw it, you know, I saw that kid jump and catch it, I was just like, wow. Um, so, you know, sometimes that has to do with what, what you're doing defensively, right? If you're bringing three, it's harder to get pressure with three. Um, so that impacts it, you know, the kind of the chess match of bringing three, four, five, you know, that kind of, um, that kind of deal. Um, but I thought he was really efficient. And so, uh, like I said, credit to him. And, and, uh, but I, I love how our defense is playing. I believe in those guys. They've been playing fantastic defense all year. When, when did you know that uh, Nick Nash was going to be your QB? And, uh, you know, how much time does that give you to implement, uh, you know, that, that, the mobility that he brings and uh, give him enough snaps to feel comfortable after being a wide yeah. receiver for, for, two, for two weeks? You know, um, we, had, we knew that it was going to have to be that way probably Monday night, Monday afternoon. Um, and so uh, we started putting together that game plan and, you know, just – with the youth and inexperience of, uh, you know, our two young quarterbacks, we thought Nick gave us the best chance to win, and so that's why we made that decision. Um, he's, even though he hadn't been playing it for two weeks, he had been playing it for two years, and he'd been, played in big games and he played in big situations, and so um, he was. Uh, that that was the natural answer for us with him. And. He had a nat natural rapport with uh, uh, Derek Dees, who probably had career highs of seven yeah. catches, 130 yards. Yeah. And that was a breakout game. No question. I can't believe I haven't talked about Dees yet. What a game, right? Fantastic. And I thought um, Nick did a great job finding him the ball, and, and Derek was mm -hmm. just awesome attacking the ball. That, that seam ball he caught in man coverage um, in the second half was just an absolute thing of beauty. It was third and nine or 11. It's a hard catch, and just the way he finished that was just so fun, which is awesome, right? Um, Derek Deese is a super senior, and he chose to come back and play this year. So it's, um, it's awesome to see those guys that are, you know, Jack Snyder started his 40-something game of his career, maybe more than that. You know, it's just it's awesome to see those guys uh, playing good football and, 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 and having a good experience playing here. Uh, some of the things you mentioned last week, like things to fix. Uh, where do you think you are in the victory in the <sighs> Well, I thought we were better um, running the football, which was something we definitely had to work, we had to improve on. Um, I thought the, uh, the penalties were better tonight. You know, it's the, um, you know, we had the one false start penalty down in the end zone when the fans and the band was playing. <laughs> I was like, oh my gosh. Um, you know, but uh, you know that those are the penalties that bother me the most, right? Like the the effort penalties. You know, you know if Cade had just slid off, it wouldn't have been. You know, I talked to the officials. It's a point of emphasis this year. You know, because he kind of landed on him, and he it, it what that was the roughing. It wasn't that he was took too many steps to get there. He was there safely in one step, but the way he landed on him, so teachable moment but those effort penalties um, those ones where our guys are playing hard because I thought we played with physicality and violence tonight I think that keeps showing up for our team um, and so the just the smart there's the smarter plays you know guys making a crazy effort play trying to make a tackle and they end up horse collaring a guy um, you know we're, we're not teaching that we're not trying to do that um, you know some of that stuff happens just because you're running so hard and you're out of position and you're just trying to get any part of the ball carrier so you can get them down and so um, I thought but I thought we were better with the substitution stuff and the um, procedure issues and, and so I think that's progress and, and then um, you know we I know Shamar had the fumble and uh, I didn't see the fumble with with Tyler on the goal line um, that uh, Malachi Miller did a nice job recovering um, I thought that he, when he hit the ground the ball came out um, you know, but just in the frenzy and the panic of those things, you don't know the way it's going to go. So it's awesome that Malachi, like, had the effort and the, you know, scrappiness to get on that ball and cover it up and keep it, you know, our, our possession at that moment in the game. It was critical, critical. So uh, we, we are a work in progress. We are a very much a Silicon Valley uh, startup. We are a work in progress. WIP, right? That's what they call it. Time for a couple more.
That it's not good enough, that it's not even close, not even close to good enough. We're not protecting the ball nearly enough on offense, and we're not taking it enough away enough on defense. And I think the two guys you're about to talk to would tell you the same thing, right? Like, like that's, that, that's space we have to live in. We know how critical that is, and we know that in years past, that's something that gave us a chance to win, protecting the football and taking it away. And so if we want to make the move we want to make starting this week, we have to be good in that regard. And so that is going to be, again, something that we talk a, a lot about this weekend as a football team. And just, uh, um, you're done with your non-conference schedule. You're ready to climb the mountain, excited about uh, trying to uh, defend your Mountain West championship? You know what? Uh, we talked about this last night as a team. Um, you know, this, this mountain we're climbing is twice as big as the one we climbed a year ago, right? We went right into conference. Uh, we didn't have to play at Penn State and at Central Michigan, right? We didn't have to do those things, right? We just lined up and got going. Um, this is a much bigger mountain. And on top of it, everyone's taking their best shot, right? And so we, th you're talking about turnover margin. We're talking about, like, our effort. Like, we are finally at a place as a football program where we win a game and we don't feel as good about it as we should because we know we should play better or we know we can play better, which I think is a good thing. But we have to understand that there's a lot of work that go in that preparation, and that's where we have to level up as a team right now. We have to fix those things. We have to fix what Andrew is asking me about, and we have to we, because the mountain is bigger than ever. And we are, you know, we're starting off this next week again with a tough road trip and altitude, and you know, all, all that stuff. And so, um, it's, and it's, it's against a team we haven't played in three years or two years. So, um, it's a hell of a challenge. Anything else? Thank you, Coach. Thank you all.